And I'm telling you, your kid could be demonized and attacked, but your doctor calls it autism. <laughs> Ain't no such diagnosis in the Bible. You know, I didn't even need an additional reason to hate this piece more than I already do, but here we are. For those of you who don't know who this piece is allow me to introduce you to Greg Locke, the head of the Global Vision Bible Mega Church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. For those of you who don't know what a mega church is, allow me to explain. A mega church is a church that's led by a violent, uneducated, hateful piece of shit. like this guy. They televise their sermons, broadcast it to the entire country, so he can profit off of people who are just as, if not more, violent, uneducated, and hateful as he is. So one of the things that always kills me about these types of congregations and these types of pastors is it's like, you know, if you scream and if you put emotion into the message, then it must be legitimate. You know, basically, as he says, sits there and says that if it's not listed in the Bible, then it must not be real. It's supposed to be demons. And then people in the congregation are like, hey, man, brother, you know, as if that makes all the sense in the world. They're just there on a Sunday because they need something to do. It's not, it's tradition. But this guy, this pastor, you know, my man is going so far as to say, look. If it's not listed in the Bible, it must be demons, okay? Because, you know, in the Bible, it talks a lot about how demons will come in and possess people. So, you know, if you if you have like a really bad cough or you have a heart murmur or, you know, maybe uh, you're going through some type of dizzy spells, it's a demon just, you know, sitting in that cranium causing problems. It's it, Don't go to your doctor. Don't worry about all this, you know, modern science stuff. Just, just come on into my church and, of course, put that money in that hat when it passes back and forth when it's time to collect those donations. And this guy has a net worth of 129 million. You probably know Greg for being a well-known homophobe, anti-masker. He also said you can't be a Christian and vote Democrat. Yes, that guy. And now he's saying that autism is just being possessed by demons. I'm willing to bet this guy and anybody who goes to his church failed every single science class they took. They clearly know nothing about medicine, biology, anatomy, or any of that stuff. You want to know why the Bible says no such diagnosis for autism, Greg? Because doctors in modern medicine didn't exist in the Bible. You moron. You and your hick followers would know that if you actually read the Bible all the way through. But I doubt that your IQ and your lack of critical thinking skills could allow you to do such a thing. But something that is important that I want to point out is that do you really think a man worth $129 million goes about his life, you know, with his health care, according to what's written in the Bible? Absolutely not. Of course he doesn't. This man knows full well that autism is real. This man knows full well that modern science is real up to a degree. Now, maybe he may not believe in things like climate science all the way up to the point where, you know, we here watching these channels do we here creating this type of content do. But you better believe that a man worth one hundred twenty nine million dollars is not convinced that autism is the result of demon possession. Let's be serious here. And as was pointed out in the TikTok, he's just a grifter. He's just a con artist. He's just collecting those donations at the tabernacle every single Sunday and, you know, putting out this crazy, insane message that can hook on to the most extremist fundamentalists in the country. And as we know here in America, ain't no shortage of that. I don't know what's more shocking. The fact that this dude's going around saying that having autism is being possessed by demons or that people clapped after he said it. There could be people who are watching this and cheering who have kids with autism. Which means instead of seeking a professional medical opinion, getting a proper diagnosis, and getting the resources to help their kids cope with their autism, they're going to treat them like some freaks that need to be exercised. And quite honestly, any parent that does that needs to be reported to CPS immediately. You know all those false prophets the Bible warns you about? You're looking at one right now. There's absolutely nothing Christian-like about hateful pieces of like this that spew the garbage like he does from his mouth and force it onto other people to try to believe it as fact but you know at the end of the day the longer i'm involved in politics the more i continue to see the truth that it's about who's willing to fight the hardest it's about who's willing to sacrifice the most it's about who's willing to have the most patience and stay in the game and that's why we on the left have to continue to become more organized more patient and just get better overall at playing the game better overall at taking over what we need to take over because we understand so crucially that power is needed. You know, we watch uh, a man worth $129 million of the congregation that claps and shouts after he says that autism is actually a result of demon possession. We see a man, Donald Trump, come down the escalator and win off of an election campaign that started with him saying Mexicans are rapists and criminals. And I say all this to say that, you know, we see 
evidence after evidence after evidence that people will follow whatever makes them feel right. People will follow whatever they believe in. And so we know policy and the polls, we have the people on our side. We know we have the general public on our side. So let's do more. Let's make sure that we give more. Let's make sure that we fight harder, keep the hope alive and continue to move ahead.